nothing left to say Can we try to hold on just for now Even if we don't know how to show them what we're all about oh, 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 oh. Good evening. My name is Sue, and I hate video games. I'm Remy, and I'm like if Paul Wind had a big knife. That's true. I've often said that about you. Thank you. I am glad that I'm bringing that energy in the world to other people, not just that I feel it within myself. Absolutely. Finishing the setup real quick. Oh, we're having trouble finding that site. Yeah, it's because the Wi-Fi doesn't kick on for a few seconds. Oh, right. Laptop. Yeah. Start do the, do I keep thing. saying do not show this again, and it just keeps showing it every time. Oh yeah, time. Twitch does not fucking care about your consent. Nope. There we go. Set that down here. All right, turn on the preview. Almost done. Almost done, I swear. We're getting there. We're warming up. Warming up. Can anyone think of games with vampires? But that isn't Castlevania. Or Vampire the Masquerade. I was trying to think of what music to use for the next El Paso Elsewhere stream, because I'm doing a vampire thing. I've got the salt skin. I already used that one. Oh, yeah, we did use that one. Mm -hmm. My bad, Road. I constantly think of games with vampires. Oh, right, Legacy of Kane. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Legacy of Cain is definitely a good a good pick. Uh, Blood Omen, Soul Reaver, Vampire, Blood Rain, Vampiris. I hate Vampire. Okay, Blood Rain is amusingly bad. Um, Vampire actually makes me actively angry without with its really twisted heteronormativity. <laughs> Uh, I've not played it. I don't know what this thing is that you're referencing. Oh, well, he's a doctor, and... Uh, he the main character? Yeah. Okay. And, uh... No, I don't want to describe this on on stream, because oh. it'll end up... It'll end, end up, up sounding... Squeaking people out? Yeah, especially the way I would describe it. Okay, then. It also has issues with consent. Oh, fun. Yeah. Not fun. Not the opposite fun. of fun? The opposite of fun. The yes. opposite of fun. Let's play Lords of the Fall. Well, that game is fun. It is. It's it's been it's been a ride so far. We're gonna have to punch. Oh right, thank you. We have headphones now. Yeah. So we don't have to keep the volume real low. It's nice. Yep. I can actually hear most of the dialogue. Mm-hmm. Except for the oh, ones who you. talk at the same like tone as the music in the background. Oh yeah. That's happened a couple times. And I want to point out again. To anyone who uh, watches this stream, see this her. game is a love letter to Dark Souls 2. You do, you do love it. Mm -hmm. You do love, you do love your Dark Souls 2. I say this a lot. I mean it every time. It's legitimately one of my favorite things about. It. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad to provide. I am, I am so happy that you have something in your life that you care about this much. <laughs> this is not a bit, even a little bit. All right, let's switch over here. Uh, yeah, this game is basically like, this is like if you made a sequel to Dark Souls 2, honestly. It has the same mechanics. Oh, I learned that you can dual wield last night while I was oh, running around and practicing. We haven't been doing that. Yeah, I also got a Bloody Mangler Axe, mm -hmm. so uh, now we have a stronger melee weapon. Oh, okay. Because oh, the stabs kind of, stabs are not great. They have a long range, but... Yeah. Don't do a lot of damage. And you weren't enjoying the uh, spears because they didn't have, uh, like, a swipe. They were all poked. Yeah. That's Which I don't... Hard to deal with. Uh, you know me. I don't like to go poke myself. I haven't actually played Vampire, but I own it, so I do think about it. Mm. Very fair. I also uh, own it, and uh, I have not played it myself. I've watched others play, and uh, it's kind of disgusts me. That's a shame. Mm-hmm. This game might have vampires in it. Certainly has enough bleeding people. There is a lot of blood in this game. Oh, hey, let's do the content warning. Let's do that. So this is a violent video game as Lords of the Fallen. It's mostly combat in the sort of Dark Souls style. Um, blood puffs when you hit stuff, but it's not particularly gory. Yeah, oftentimes you see, like, umbral and astral energy coming out. Uh-huh. Um, then you go to the Umbral, and it's literally a pile of corpses. Yeah, the Umbral is absolutely just a whole-ass pile of corpses. Literally everything is corpses. And there is a lot of imagery of self-harm and... Themes uh, of... Torture, enslavement. Uh, systemic trauma and religious flavored systemic trauma. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. So, uh, here we are. Uh, the oh, right. I, for together. I forgot we had the um, mask that makes a tree root grow out of our eye. Mm -hmm. It's really cool looking. It is. Hey, look at that. That's. We look that's, like a paladin who's been through some shit, and I do like that. This is us. a great. Let me turn this way. There. This is a great album cover. Oh, you and uh, our uh, merchant friend. I can't remember his name at the moment. Me either. Apparently, I turned off. F Someone turned off F12 for screenshots, so whatever. His name is Beck here. Friend. Of course, in the darkest moments, the only light you ever really need is the light of Aureus. Everyone yeah, worships a different god, and they all think theirs is the only one. <laughs> Sometimes, that's all. <laughs> I wonder if this game is political. Anyway, here's our raw mangler's axe. Yeah. Oh, so, it cannot break stone. Yeah. Or apparently the space right next to stone. The space next to that. So we're not going to fight that stone. boss. We're going to come back for him later. So which boss? Because there were two bosses. Uh, Professional Gregory. Gregory. 
Uh, I, I kind of want him to be thankful, Gregory, now that I've said it. Sure, we can call him thankful, Gregory. Uh, He's called uh, Royal Pursuer Percival or something to that effect. Yeah. And I think this is the way you go to get to him. So yes, we're not. There's another direction. There's another direction from here. I suppose I missed it. Well, we're going to fight our way through, I think. We're not going to dash. If we were going to the boss fight, we'd dash. And uh, y'all will remember the really cool spell we got the other the other day. Which, oh right, the uh, spell we got off of the Hushed Knight, the uh, Spear Throw. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, it's got a short range, whoops. I wouldn't define that as short, but it was too short for what you were trying to do with it. Yeah, and it's quite powerful. I need to find a ring that restores MP somehow. Because... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be good. <laughs> because uh, switching to the uh, the blue mono rocks that you uh, switch to, yeah, is takes a little bit of time. Not just that; it's also that I don't have an unlimited supply. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a fire ward. There are things doing fire damage here. Beautiful. Can you tell I was practicing earlier? I I can. It's it's showing. Kicks me. I do not recognize your kick, sir. Oh, look at that. He just fell it. over. A, his knees yeah. just bent and he fell over backwards. Uh huh. His feet are so stuck in the ground. Having, um, well, my feet weren't stuck in the ground, but I have before just like straight up passed out. Uh huh. Like from vertical, and I did wake up like that. Mm hmm. Uh, my housemate at the time said it was one of the most impressive things he'd ever seen because I just went 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you weren't hurt. Oh, uh, only my pride and a little bit of bruising. Mm -hmm. My pride's taken a beating. It's tougher than that. I like that you can read this, but also oh, right. that it's clearly a typeface. Like, that's not hand-drawn. That's that's a he, font. You can write that. No, that's gotta be a font. Look mm. how perfectly even everything is. It's monospace, too. It's... Mm. I love it. It looks just slightly out of place. I, which I do think adds to the atmosphere. It's eerie. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I really like this spear spell. It's ridiculous. Yes. Oh, here's that invisible rock. Yeah, the floating moss. Yeah. Yep. Not even there if you look up at it. No, because his back face cold. Mm-hmm. Or his back face is cold. I don't know how to conjugate that. I think it's that it just doesn't have a back face. Yep. All oh, right, Fitzroy's oh, gorge. That sound every time. I fucking love that sound. The wee wee wee. Uh -huh. When the uh Title strains come up. Mm -hmm. It just catches your ear immediately. Uh -huh. Here's uh, Dama Rose with her hand necklace. That's her hand. Yeah. I adore this character design. Uh huh. She's wearing a smiling Oni mask, looks like. Is she? No, you're right. She is. And she's missing a hand. I don't, sort of. I don't think it's an Oni mask. I think that's a. I think that's a specific piece of imagery, and I don't know if this is that specific piece of it. Uh, it's some sort of smiling demon yeah. mask, then. Like the Green Goblin, maybe. Mm. As long as you're working towards... That's one of the spells the Green Knight used on you. I know that's not his name. I forgot his actual name. Yeah. I like him. I like him as the Green Knight, though. Uh, yeah. But who sells raw mangler axes? You can I get actually, two raw mangler axes. I actually got mine as dropped. I got, like, four of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's also got a good Inferno spell, but I... Uh, you we're don't, not, yeah, we're you not don't Inferno. do that. We're Umbral. Going for everything Umbral. Means not... All Umbral everything. everything. Yeah. Damn. Oh, that's... Because he was leading against the breakable crates. I am having difficulty parsing what's even happening there. Well, that's his chest. And oh, that's his face. His, oh, the... It's bent back is yeah. the back. It yeah. is bent backwards. Yeah, and he looks like he's a wooing. Yeah, he does look like he's a wooing, but he doesn't look 
like he's happy that he's a wooing. Mm -hmm. Oh, oof. I figured this is the way we're supposed to go because these fucking bloody manglers are at the very beginning of the game anyway. Uh-huh. So that's kind of guiding us in this direction. Yeah. It's the, um... It's the thing that I like about Dark Souls that you desperately don't. Mm -hmm. Where you are guided along paths by... By what kills you. Yeah, by what kills you. It's like, we could go through the graveyard, and it's like, yeah, you can go through the graveyard. Mm -hmm. Do you want to fight all of those skeletons at level one? I don't think you do. Try a different way, maybe. I mean, that's what I do in Dark Souls 1. Yes, but you're you, and you're not a... You understand, yes, that you are Dark Souls Georg. <laughs> And should not have been counted. And you should... Uh, nope. No, you should be counted, but it should be noted that you are an edge case. Oh, fuck, fuck. I did not hit the right button. No, oh, quit that. Quit it. Quit it. Your arm cannot those be that strong. Those go from so far away, yeah. Just lobbing massive fucking tennis balls of fire at you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. Now you're gonna get it, too. Twice. Oh, I thought it was going to bounce off the wall. I to me. was also really afraid it was going to bounce off the wall, being honest with you. But it got there. Uh-huh. I may have to go buy more mono rocks at this rate. Because mm. I am going to go through a lot of them with this spell. It's just such a useful tool. Mm-hmm. Ah, I knew you were there. It does a shit ton of damage at incredibly long range. Cut that out. Watch out for the oh, explosion. Thank you. The perfect roll. Yeah, you would've did been, get there. Would have been really funny if I rolled off the cliff. It would have, but I'm glad you didn't. <laughs> All right. Give me your purple goo. Give me the goo, boss. Free my soul. I want to get lost in the dark umbro. Okay. I was really afraid how that was going to end. <laughs> The Dark Umbral is very good. Mm -hmm. So this leads to another area with enemies that we can handle pretty easy. That one we do we still got to watch for that shit. Just going to take them out from there? Oh, yeah. There you go. And two. That's oh, just, yeah. Him back. Got him. And knockback will get you every time. Mm hmm. Remind me of the snake people from Final Fantasy XIV. Or, I don't remember their names. The Yuan T. <laughs> actually sounds right. It's, no, the Yuan T are the snake folks from Dragon. Ananta, thank you. Dungeon Dragons. Ah. Uh -huh. Final Fantasy I was based in Dungeon Dragons, so. Hmm. Well, it could be either, yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to make the error that the game wants me to make here because I've already been here. Yeah, you're not going to run forward and meet them and get jumped by those three dogs to your left. Mm-hmm. Oops. Ow, that you got a little close. It's fine. And that's not the only mistake that can be made here. Listen, you can make a mistake anywhere. I've always said this. Someone was dragged along here. Mm -hmm. And there they are. There's their corpse. I got something off their corpse, and I don't remember what it was. Uh, anyway, there's also... Uh... Oh, it's actually not here anymore. That's odd. What? Was it this one? Is this it? That's probably it, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, there oh, it is. hey, Mimic. It's not where I remembered it being. So I did make the same mistake, but at least I intended to. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there an umbral? Yeah, here it is. They give you this so you know it's a fucking prank. A get out of umbral free card. <laughs> yep. See, that's that's a very from soft joke right there. Uh-huh. Just to have a random mimic out of fucking nowhere, but it's near to where you can help. To where you can correct your error. Mm. 
doesn't look like we can it's, go this it's way. It's funny so. as long as you don't actually lose that much progress from it. Right, exactly. Which is why the big trap in Kingsfield is always right next to the start of the game. Mm -hmm. Curious. What are you curious about? This spot here. Okay, can you umbral across that bridge? The missing no, bridge? not this one. Oh, okay. You can in the one up ahead. That's why I was wondering about that one, because I hadn't checked it. And then we come over to this missing bridge and just... Oh, no, that's mostly a thing. Yeah. Now we'll just walk across real quick. Yeah, we'll just walk across this massive pile of spines. There's a gargoyle. Yep. Gotta get across first. <laughs> Gotta get across. Oh, right, because we have the lantern out and we can't do anything while we have the lantern out. Yep. And if we put away the lantern, we'll fall because the lantern is the only thing making the skeleton bridge exist. Yeah, I was really expecting to tumble to my death there. Mm -hmm. You can go down that way. Yeah. What's the other way? Is that fire? Mm -hmm. This way? Yeah. Uh, that's where we'll be going in a second. It's a path straight down. Oh, okay. It's these braziers lighting it like that. Oh, all right. I thought it was just like a lava zone over there. Who is this? Who do I know this man? Uh, oh, it's an do. umbral. It's oh, an yeah. umbral shrine. Mimic. I have such a difficult time not seeing that as the really. <laughs> I wouldn't. That was a hell of a fucking jump. Uh-huh. Nope. Purple counterclockwise. I love, love it. Every time. Someone Everyone's rushed, right handed. Someone rushed off to the left there. I don't think that, Oh, there you Ooh, are. I, I got jump scared. Yep. In real life. Yep. I just kicked the mouse pad. <laughs> Can we move this mouse? I should move anyway? the mouse, yeah. The mouse is expensive, and the mouse pad is glass. Uh-huh. Move that out of the way of the chat. There we go. There we go. We can see your lovely names. But not your lovely faces, because we don't have cameras in your home. Yeah. I shouldn't do that. I apologize. Right, yeah, save that for a Night Vale intro. Yeah. We can't see your lovely faces. Oh. Sorry. <clears throat> we can't see your lovely faces because you don't... Try again. Yeah. I need to you... get some of this in me. Oh, yeah. We can't see your lovely faces because we do not have... We can't see your lovely faces because we do not have cameras in your home. Welcome to Night Vale. -na -na -na. I should go back and... Uh... We listen to that entire podcast actually mm -hmm. i this is something i've said on stream before but uh for some reason around about 2016 i felt overloaded with darkness mm -hmm. uh and didn't particularly oh, need any more night fail <laughs> um right then uh and i have not gone back to it i'm aware that it's either started again and then stopped or it's still going mm -hmm. uh i remember that it did start the game mm -hmm. oh do you know you can get a uh a... One gallon mini fridge for like 30 bucks now. That's good to know, Zoo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I We ordered one the other night. And I'm going to set it here so that we can keep the uh, the nano drops and such. It. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, that, that I'm very happy for you, but that seemed like it came out of absolutely fucking nowhere. You get that, right? Well, you know, I just said I need to get some of this in me and picked up my weed bottle. Uh-huh. We're an NC-17 stream. Yep. We're allowed to talk about weed, which is legal in our state. Yep. Also, no, uh, no I'm not going to say that joke. God damn. Hey, here's that. Here's that person who we shot earlier. Oh, hey. We got all the way around. Yeah, and we got some monostone. And an ammunition satchel. For ammunition. 
Mana stones are much more useful. Yeah. What ammunition is that? What is uh, it ammunition for? It can be for bows, crossbows, guns. Oh, okay. It's ammunition brackets general. Yeah. Okay. All right. So there's two ways to dirt to go down this way. I uh -huh. think it's probably safer to take the upper ramp. Unless the game decides that that's not the safe way to go. Um, I also wouldn't. Say I think you could just fall down that way. I think those just connect at the same space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this was the correct decision. Yeah. Oh, good. Try plunging attack. Get it? Mm hmm. Get it. There we go. Hell yeah. See if there's anything hidden down here. There's certainly a fire over that way. Do you think that this is a mimic? It fucking might be. That'd be pretty funny. See. It would. I don't see any... Oh, oh uh, there's a butterfly behind What you. the hell? Yeah. He pushed me over. He that, knocked me over. From from all the way in the umbra. Uh-huh. Didn't do any damage. Regular del Deralium Nuggets. I always think it's Delirium. It does look like delirium too. Oh, here's some more improperly placed textures. Uh, that's kind of weird that that's. Uh, that just kind of looks there. like. Uh, oh, look right up from underneath. Oh, hmm. Yeah, that is not supposed to be eh. there. Or maybe we just weren't supposed to notice it. You know, we we have a tendency to look a lot closer at games than like uh, a lot of people, right? Because we like picking apart. The thing that we like. Still feel like they could they could fix it. Look, there's two of them there. Eh. I can point out just as many in actual Dark Souls, though. Yeah. My favorite being that tree. Which tree? I actually don't know which tree you mean. Oh, it's in the uh, room full of wolves on the way up to the church. Uh-huh. So there's a tree that's on the edge of a cliff, but its root sticks out over the air. Totally flat on the bottom, and if you turn the camera up, it's not textured on the bottom side. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just the light quality changing as you move out of the cave. Yeah, but you see the light behind me also lowering as I move away from it. Yeah. That's just the way they're rendering it. I find it silly. I like this bridge. Yeah. We can't go this way, so no. we're going across the bridge. Yeah, we kick that down. Later. There is no way that this... An umbral, <laughs> an umbral entity <laughs> prevents your progress. So, okay, so at least it has some reason for the yep. for us not being able to climb this. Yeah, I it's was about that to say, a, um, this character can definitely climb It's this. that there's a flat umbral giant, yeah. Hi there. Oh, Ooh, cute. You got, you're going to have some... You got... Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Can enough. you... F is there a... Get out of Umbral free card near to you. Not immediately. No. Okay, because I really want to... a heart. It is a heart, isn't I it? Think. That's almost as big as me. Uh-huh. Here's just some skeletons crawling, clawing crawling. their way to the top of this. In my More heart bones. Crawling in these bones. I would Zero really view. like to see this, uh... Let me look around for a shrine or a, or a vestige. Yeah. Or we'll get to it, I'm sure. Th th like yeah, I've been saying, the game's really good at, like, having this as like that and giving you reasons to look at This is going to be a boss fight, isn't it? Oh, on this big, long bridge leading up to a castle with no enemies in sight? Yeah. I haven't seen any... Wow. Oh, there's butterflies. There's the Ruiner. The Ruiner is coming. All that, huh? Uh, I think we can't get to the other side. I think the bridge is closed behind us. I think so, too. Yeah, that's where the moth wall is. Damn, that does just do it, huh? Uh-huh. That is so much fucking damage. I understand that that's a lot of mana to use. Don't spray lava. Oh, he's summoning lava things. Oh, that's not good. Oh, this is oh, why a little lava mines. 
is ruining this bridge. Oh, oh fuck, fuck. Oh, uh, watch out Ooh. for the... Oop. Yeah. Almost, uh, Tauros damaged yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now you got out of it. It's fine. You're here. Oh, you leave uh, lava footprints wherever you walk, too, yeah. huh? He's ruining the bridge. I like his little, uh, like, incision scar mm -hmm. down the hole of his fucking chest. So I guess it's his big incision scar. Yeah. I'm impressed. Managed to get the shield up. Or managed to get the shield up, depending on how you pronounce it. Very nice. Thank you. It, I did I wasn't confident saying it, but I'm glad you approved. Yeah, you're just gonna one and done this sucker. I hope so. Is that healing? No, it's just no. like there. I think it raises his defense as long as it's there. Oh, yeah, because you were doing 300 a shot, and now you're doing, like, 80. Yeah. Yeah, we can just make there that not go. a problem. Yeah. All right, here we're we go. Right back on the game plan. Just like... Oh. Yeah. Get sorted, I guess. Yep. Synergy. I practiced with magic over the week, if you can't tell. So you had said that you had done a little bit of a practice, mm -hmm. and I, I, I obviously believed you, but I did not realize to what extent you had actually done that because you have, you have indeed gotten good. It's you. Well, now I've got large monostone clusters. <laughs> okay, there's butterflies all over this thing. Uh huh. I need to take a look at what that's trying to show me. It's an arch. Oh, it's the tentacles. Oh, it is the tentacles, isn't it? So wants to go to that uh, umbral entity. Yeah. Since I am going to need to... Yeah, can you set down a, a thing right there? Yes. Excellent. I also bought a bunch of these. A bunch of umbral vestiges? Oh, yeah. Ooh, all right. Battle on the big bridge, exactly. I should have had that music ready to go. Right? No, it's... It's impossible to voice that part. Okay. I, I just want to say I really like the lantern mechanic. I really like the lantern mechanic, too. Mm-hmm. I think they use it in some pretty interesting ways. Me, too. I... And I... I'm not going to fucking stop saying that the... Like, seeing the difference between the axiomatic and the umbral is dope as shit. Um, it is the... It is so good in there. So can you, since I'm right next to that, I'm going to switch to umbral and see what I can see. Uh-huh. Like the bear that went over the mountain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, that just keeps going. Fuck. Yeah, does it start Is that here? all one tentacle? It has to start somewhere. It starts over there. Oh. Where the umbral entity was preventing our progress. Yeah, so those are... No, that's a different one? Just big old hearts. There's some stuff down there. Yeah. And we hop down that way. Looking for a place that'll... Close enough to drop to. It sort of doesn't look like it. I think we're blocked off. Too. They 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 don't want us doing that. I like that sound. I guess that's the sound that the umbral entity makes. Yeah, it's kind of grumbling at me. Yeah. <laughs> Out of here. Who do you think you are? Mr. Big Snow. Never gonna get my love. Some tree branches. Uh, over to your left. Is that the bottom of the cliff that we were looking at before? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen that. And over here we got 
Uh, that's the wall where the massive sword was draped over. Yeah. It's wild to realize that this stuff is all, like, 3D rendered. Like, this isn't, like, a skybox with all this detail. This is oh. all real time. It's probably, like, flattened after a point, right? Maybe. It's, it would be... Down there. Looks like it I feels like it would be here. very resource intensive, but ah. I'm not inside of that. I, I, I am in no way inside of technology whatsoever, much less video game industry technology. Mm. Oh, okay. Uh, hmm, yeah, something happened with that whisper. He, he spawned and then he despawned. Mm -hmm. All right, so the brute goes this way. There you are. Is that going to collapse the bridge? No, it's going to pull the guy off the bridge so we can drop down to the platforms below. All right. Out of here. I'm very interested in that space. Mm -hmm. Stopping at nightmares. Uh, good tofu, but I have to drop. That one also disappeared. That's so. That's not a bug. Something that happened intentional. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another. Dear. How are you? Give me my treasure. <laughs> treasure. <laughs> no Huta ritual ham. Switch back to astral. Find out what a no Huta ritual ham is. The Huta ritual hammer is my favorite anime. Huh, if I could get 20 strength, I could carry a Grand Axe. Oh, yep. Yeah. You could carry a Grand Axe. This is the Nohuta Ritual Hammer. It is. A grand uh, it's Umbral! Holy shit, it is Umbral. Oh my god, now I need to get to 26 strength. You need strength. to get to 26 strength, and then you can have your big massive weapon that swings slow as shit, <laughs> and you're gonna love it, and it's gonna be great for you, and I can't be more excited for you. <laughs> I understand I sound like that's not the case, but I do mean it. <laughs> Alright, well, we're just going to be uh, grinding for strength for a bit. Mm -hmm. Inventory, inventory, everybody's coming to get me. So With this treasure, I summon... Hi, Orchid. Hi, Orchid. But strength is at 18, so we need 8 more levels. Mm. Let's at least take a look at what it looks like. It's, that is beautiful. It's really big. You can still equip it, just like in Dark Souls. And but it'll do very little damage. Probably, yeah. Hmm, pardon me. Since <laughs> the Ben you had to catch up with the hammer. <laughs> also, of course, be upgrading said hammer. Yeah. Do we want to go out that way, or do we want to drop down in the umbral and see what goodies await us under the bridge now? Definitely want to drop down. Okay. Dude, that's interesting. What? Most of the time, things will exist in the umbral, but not the astral. Uh-huh. But this has removed part of the... the oh, yeah, you're right. That's... Very interesting to me. Uh, that happens sometimes. Like, we've walked through gates, right, that have That's been true. in the uh, Axiom and not the Umbral. Yeah. Is it Astral? I thought you told me it was Axiom, the first one. I think it's Astral. Okay. You get the fuck away from me. Yeah. More of they just sort of died up, right? All right, come this way then. Let's have you. But enough talk. There's gonna be a wasp over here, isn't there? Oh, almost certainly, right? Look at all these, you know, crispy bits. What the fuck is that you're attacking? Oh no, started out as an egg. Usually, if you break an egg, it'll turn into one of these guys. Huh. Huh. Alright. Well. I 
least it's not as big as the ones y'all were uh, dealing with yesterday. As big as the eggs. Yeah. Right. The rat eggs. Yeah. Full of rats. Yeah. Hi. Kick. I think there's a, yeah. You got it, it's fine. Yeah. We can't go so this we, way. Yeah, we can't go that way until we break whatever is holding that tentacle in place, which I think is further up that way, actually. I think this is another way back down. Shit, where do I go then? I think we just go across the bridge. Like all the way around? E all right, we'll try it. Yeah. Oh, well, Nothing. well, hmm? it's fine. Yep. I didn't need those souls anyway. No, it's fine. You can get we got the exploration in. That was the part that matters. Yeah. There's no penalty for dying in a souls like because all you lose is souls and those are an infinite supply. Mm -hmm. That makes Dark Souls the easiest game in the world. <laughs> it's a game that's very easy to exploit if you know how. Mm hmm. <laughs> Like, uh, I almost said Magneto. <laughs> what what game am I thinking of? Othello. Ah, yes. Or Go, I suppose. Go, Othello. Puzzle, puzzle game. Yeah. Oh, the music changed. Love the music it, in I this am... game. It's so fucking subtle. Uh, I, I was about to say, I'm glad that you enjoy it because I've not particularly noticed. Mm. Which I guess means it's doing its job as atmospheric. Well, the boss fights have been Yeah, the, the boss, boss fights have been nice. great. So. Weighted bolts. So that's like the second type of ammo I've ever found in this game. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. The ammo sack you use to recharge them effectively. Your, uh, each item is... Uh, has a limited number of charges till you rest. Okay. But you can ammo pack. So those are just equipables like any other weapon, and then basically the sort of abstraction is that you're filling more from the pouch. Yeah. Oops. These reeds keep popping in, tripping me out. There's some pretty low reeds. Mm hmm. I think that's a good joke. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. So is that a mangler? Yes, that's a mangler. Oh, it's a couple of them. Is that hey, what they're called with the axes? Whoa! I assume so, because you get the you get the mangler axe from them. Oh, right. That makes sense. Oh. No, no, no. It's fine. Fine. Fuck off. <laughs> it upsets me that the exploding dogs do not seem to interact with the mangler in any way. Yeah, but, you know, friendly fire off. <laughs> it takes an egg to make an omelet. I laugh, track. <laughs> it does take at least one egg to make an omelet, you're right. There really nothing back here? No, it looked like it. Huh. I had to break a fence and everything. Oh, I... Eh. Fuck it. Basically. There's more interesting stuff over there. True. Let's go explore it. That's just the other side There's of that. Femur. That's what those are. Femurs. They're the ends of femurs, not actually... Oh, at the top of the, um... Oh, yeah, God. those things that we were... Oh, hey, another oh. mimic. Can we, like, manage them in some way? Is there an item we should be using there to... Oh, I venomify? I think some sort of, yeah, yeah ground hog is a coming griper. at you. A Greeper, or Grim Reaper, you see. Oh, yeah, like in Mario RPG. It took so long before I realized that Greeper was meant to be short for Grim Reaper. Uh huh. Oh, rude. Fuck I off. cannot believe you got that parry. That was incredible. Thank you. 
I was pretty proud of it. Oh, and once again, they've put it right next to a fucking... Oh, an astral, uh... Or, uh... I... Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not thinking. Yeah, yeah, now he doesn't exist though, so it's fine. Cool. <laughs> it still had them loaded in. So they exploded when I approached. Oh, the whispers? Yeah. Yeah. Here's a here's a comfy skeleton. I don't know if I would be comfy with a Oh no, that's not actually resting on their Oh, that's, oh, it's on their arm, though. Ah, maybe they never had an arm to begin with. Interesting. How you oh. doing? <laughs> Let's maybe not fuck oh, with that. Yep. Let's maybe not fuck with that. Yeah, we got the Mothman. Uh, here we go. The port this doesn't go around to where I'd hoped it would. It must be a longer trail. Mm-hmm. It's another town. This is only like the second. This looks like a boss room. Oh, this does look like a big another boss room. Boss room already? We have had a lot of the. Uh, this has been a lot of things with named hitboxes uh, very close together. Uh huh. Just uh, get our shit together. Uh, actually, what is the point of that saying? You have to crack a few eggs to make an omelet. I understand it as a metaphor for some things requiring sacrifice, but I hope no one is using fertilized eggs for it, like no one's making an omelet using a chicken newborn. I have some unfortunate news for you. Mm-hmm. Um, don't... I I'm not your parent, uh, but be prepared if you choose to Google this idea. Trying to find anything in this room that's not the... Ooh, nice. Yeah, there's a bunch of... Got there's more bones. femurs. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be anything spawning, so yeah, this is a boss room. I... Boom. Well, let's set off the trap and see. Yep, yep. there it is. The, the light, light reaper. reaper. The light reaper. Yeah. Even better. Fuck. Coming. That's for why you. I couldn't see him. He's a dragon. He's a dragon that teleports through a flying red nexus. Uh huh. I like that very much. Jesus Christ. What is your front piece look? That's so many fucking spikes on that dragon. Uh huh. It's not oops all spikes, but it's more spikes than I'm comfortable with. Dang it. Oh, it's got three heads. Oh, this is the dragon from, uh... Oh, uh, whoop. Well, okay. But yeah, this is the guy from the, the beginning. Yeah, the dragon rider has hopped off the dragon and is now trying to kill us with his massive swords. And he has way Ooh. too much HP. Oh, you got three arms. Yep. Am I supposed to lose here, or is this just way early to be here. That's a really good question. Well, can't block that. Roll through, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Oh, not what I meant to do. You got the parry off, though. Got oh. me that time. That's all. What are you, Vegeta? Oh, forearms. Yeah, he's uh, Gilgamesh. Oh. He's a little far away from his bridge, though. Not too far. The bridge is just over there. The hop is... Oh, come on. Damn. It pauses, so I moved to the side as it paused under me. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know. This guy seems like he has too much HP. To he it. seems real tough. I 
I guess the saying still makes sense then, yeah. For how weak the enemy is leading up to him are, there's gotta be it something is, we're missing. There. Yeah, maybe it's like, um, the... Oh, what's it called? Mendesa's visage was, that there's, um... There's stuff to trigger around the battlefield. Oh, that's possible. That'll help change it in our favor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't so think there's another way there. to go if this is, like, it's either this or we go fight, uh, pro uh... Professional Gregory? You called him something else, I'm no. trying to remember now. I don't Forgetful know. Gregory? I don't think that was it. Loyal Gregory. Mendacious <laughs> Gregory. has each with a boss that's really, really strong. Two paths diverging near a stone and bridge. I took the one that didn't get my ass kicked by a fucker with four arms. And that made most of the difference. Hell yeah. Way to go up here, maybe? Oh, Ooh, yeah. yep. There's also Hi someone there. directly next to you, but hey. Yep. Do this. Okay. Oh, that's rude. I agree with you. I guess we're in the umbral now. Yeah. Waiting for this uh, groundhog to come get you. What did you call them? You called them something. Greeper. Greeper, thank you. There we go. That takes care of one problem. I'm not a. I'm not a person to shame someone for their clothing choices. Mm -hmm. But I do wonder if they know their whole lungs are out. <laughs> like, if they know, that's cool, and I'm glad for them, but I kind of want to... kind of want to ask. Anyway, we have found another way to go now. Yeah. It might be that the Axis fire elements would be the reason that we weren't able to hurt it. Oh, maybe just very strong to fire? Yeah. Or axe. Or axe. That'd be slashing, I think. Huh. Guess let's drop down on this fucker. So what's on the other side of this wall before you do that, which is irrevocable? Okay. Take a look. So I might not be able to... Oh, it's one of the uh, snake folks. Yeah. Much closer. Ow. Actually, quite a lot harder to take out in melee. Yeah. Hmm. Snake was made. Okay, so that's gonna explode if I step on it. Almost certainly. But what doesn't these days? True. Oop. Okay. You missed. Now you've gone through. Okay, so I can't go this way while I'm in Umbral. Uh, and there's not a place to... It's a way to go down. Yeah. There's not a place to get out of the Umbral from over here. Ah. Oh, this is where you were going yeah, let's, let's use the drop attack on him, though. Okay. I feel like that'll make my life a lot easier. It'll ah. certainly be fun. I stepped on the thing I said you, I shouldn't step on. You sure did. <laughs> get out They're of just here. sort of winding up at you. Yeah. You can make that roll, right? Yeah. Whoa. This person. There we go. Oh, that sucked. How do you move out of the way? I guess you're the Grim Reaper and you have, like... Uh... Spidey sense. Mm hmm. Death related Spidey sense. Oops, that's what's wrong. There, get out of here. Find a better way to see. Hey, look what we found. Yeah. Two things, both important in equal measures. One's a way for us to get up the tower we're currently in, because it gets us and out of here. The other is a new umbrella eye. Alright. What did umbral? Which? Do, what do the umbral eyes do again? 
You socket them to your lantern to get different status effects. Oh, okay. I can't do that here, but let's take a look at, at what it does. It does. Yeah. For which slot they're in. Probably here. That's plus some the upgrade land. materials. He's... None of those look like an eye. There we are. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Well, they got their own spot. Immunity to damage for eight seconds upon umbral transition. That could be useful. Or minus 20 withered health upon umbral transition because you, you don't have a secondary in. slot, though. Right. This is what I currently have. So it's an extra soul flayed charge and 15% dread resistance. Mm -hmm. I don't actually know what constitutes dread rather than wither. Uh, I was hoping I could go out there. All of my death, but still. I mean, Let's see what's downstairs first and then see what's upstairs. Okay, I think that's fair because we're probably supposed to go upstairs because it was blocked off. Here's the boss room. Yeah, there's the other side of the boss arena. So can we do anything to it over here to make the boss fight go better for us this after is, we fight these dogs? Isn't I, this I guess. the same side? No, it's not the same side. The arena's on the other side of that uh, set of iron bars down there. Mm -hmm. But I thought that was the door we already went through to get to it. I could very well be uh, wrong. I don't think so. I think we came through uh, further to the right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, through the town. There was a portcullis. Yeah. I see. Oh, I see you over there. No, 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 no. Oh, That's you... not what I'm trying to do. Okay, you've gone into the umbrella. Yeah. There were things waiting for you, unfortunately. Yeah, I just pressed the wrong button. I was trying to cast a spell. Did you run away? Ugh, not well enough. Not a big deal if we die, it's a short walk back. Pop that. That's what I was trying to do. Uh-huh. That was not like these snakes. Oh. Bleed assaults. Are you bleeding? Huh? No, I was... I didn't actually use anything from the menu. Come oh, on. Well. I was oh. checking to see if I had any healing stones. Oh, hey, here we are. So what's the difference between which side you enter? Really interesting. Um... Uh, so I don't think that way actually leads down into the boss fight. Yeah. I think the boss fight is still to your right. I think this is still circling around it. A bunch of, um, pilgrims we'll go with? Mm -hmm. Mourners, maybe? They're all sitting at a grave. Oh, right. Yeah, this doesn't lead down. All right, we better check up the tower first. Yeah. Because this looks like it's a way forward. Please quit doing that. What am I doing? Uh, not you. My brain is doing a thing to me right now. That's the boss fight. Yeah, that's the boss okay, fight. So we can get to the boss fight. If we wanted to. But I do. Yeah, let's look up. Oops. Up. Meant to do that. I was just uh, doing a callback. Yep. It's a callback to that other time you got exploded by a thing. You weren't looking closely enough that. Yep. It's a great bit. I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. I'm always glad when you bring, like, fun bits to the thing. <laughs> it was sort of a... Uh, I thought I killed that guy. Made there. That doesn't break. Nah, it just looks like that. Interesting. Oh, hi. Mangle this. I have the low ground. Yep. 
Oofs. Excellent. Right. Well, I'm handled. running out of healing. Oh. Nothing up here. Uh, there's that oh, thing. Yeah. And then whatever's out that way. Okay. A bigger skull. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can keep going up this way. Yep. Further up and further in. If I have any mods, I'm not going to be able to jump back and save them. This so looks like it's just going to collapse under me. The like bridge. It's probably fine. So it wants me to walk across these. Yeah, I see what you're thinking, though, with the rolling, and I think that's a better plan. Yeah. Nice little hop. I, I also would not trust my capability to walk across those beams unimpeded. Mm -hmm. Oh. Look at you. There's a fire and a treasure chest. Oh good, the fire doesn't hurt me when I get close to it. The big ass treasure chest. It's a big ass set. Just a whole oh, Fitzroy's whole set. set. Also, then... it's really dark up here, even though there's fire going. Yeah. Well, you know, fire sucks up the light from elsewhere. That's why it's so bright. Mm, this is really powerful. Is it? Uh, it's Fitzroy's defense. It's heavy, though. Yeah. Like, it's really heavy. Part of it? You're still in medium. Yeah. Theoretically, this is fine. Uh, what do the blue butterflies there mean? That means there's a flashback that I, we can look at. Oh, okay. So, I guess that's what we're doing, and then we're going to go back to the save point. Restore our healing. This is Fitzroy. Oh, well... It didn't look like it. It doesn't look like it went well for Fitzroy. Uh huh. That would explain why his armor set's over there. Uh huh. So it's in a box. So I guess he neatly packed it before dying. That's a shame. Can you? Uh, I'm sorry. Go back up to that landing real quick because I thought I saw a different way to go up here. Off to the right, like through that little. Oh, that is yeah, good. you can fall through there, but you know, I wouldn't recommend. Yeah, it. there's nothing to catch you. So, I'm actually gonna try this. Okay, walking across the beam. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you. It sort of made a splorch noise. Yeah. yeah. Do I have a moth? Surely. I think I used the moth. No, I do have one left. Let's just do that. I don't want to descale this whole tower. It would take so long is the thing. It's so big and scaling knives aren't actually that big. Uh-huh. Right, we can at least get one level with these suits. 1,600 vigor. Let's see exactly how much I need. Uh -huh. And then you can start you know, pardon and then you can no, start building up your uh front. So you can wield your massive hammer. Mm -hmm. Your new girlfriend, uh oh what is her name? I'm sorry, I've forgotten already. One down from there. No who did ritual. ritual hammer. Yeah. Actually works pretty well as a shield, too. I wanted to put it in my left hand. Oh, it does have block protection, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Huh. Alright. Dual wielding. That's kind of kind of interesting. You don't get a separate uh, weapon in each hand like in, like in Dark Souls 1. Uh-huh. It's basically like you're constantly power stancing like in Dark Souls 2. Mm-hmm. So each of your attacks hits twice for slightly less than they normally would. A fun trade. Mm-hmm. So find out what's next. I don't remember where to go. Uh to no, place. down that way is the way you were going. Yeah. Because this leads around to the place that isn't the boss fight. 
No, I'm sorry. This leads down yeah, to explicitly the place that is the boss. Yeah, fight. that's what I thought. I was wrong when I said that <laughs> thing before. I was entirely incorrect. And I'm sorry for lying to you. Hello there. Oh, he's stuck. Oh. oh. Puppy. How majestic. Oh. Yeah, pardon. They just kind of approach a real... Ah! Oh. I knew that was gonna friggin' happen. Yeah. Get out of here! Yeah. Cease. Brian, Brian David Gilbert voice. I don't... Go! Get out of here! I don't... Uh, I believe it was in reference to Sonic the Hedgehog. It was his uh, Unraveled series when he started having the breakdown. Uh, I, I I believe you, but it's not immediately. Oh, right. I have to go on both. Yeah. Oh, right. Because you got on the tower and that's where you can go to not get into the boss fight. Yeah. Oh, there's a Greeper. Mm. Okay. <laughs> One attack. That's all it takes. Well, one attack from behind. Mm hmm You got me. I see. I saw yeah. what you did. The, the light is coming from elsewhere. From yeah. El Paso. <laughs> elsewhere. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Now let's do that again, but correctly. Let's do it, but better. Always improving. Ever forward, never learning. Continually upward. My God. Bong. See, this time we can see the Griefer from all the way over there. Oh, that was a mistake. Yeah. Oh, I literally just, like, ran my finger through some of the soy sauce at the bottom of this fucking bowl and put it in my mouth. Oh, no. Yeah, unsurprisingly, it was very salty. Mm -hmm. And my mouth is now having a bad time. Ah, oh, rude. I'm going to go get some water as a matter of fact. Good idea. Would you like something? Um grab me a monster. I can do that. Actually no, I shouldn't. Alright. Alright, so. Alright, now we continue on. Hey, trash can wolves. Good to see you. Oh, fuck. This fucking guy again. Look at this fucking guy over here shooting fucking arrows at me. Well, I got a big ass spear that I can pull out of nowhere. And, uh, I can die horribly. That is not what I meant to do. That's okay. to go. Right. Have to be non-umbral. Oh, hi, trash can wolves. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Glad to have you in. Bonk. I love that that's a five-hit combo. Bonk. Because, like, who the fuck does a five-hit combo? No one's gonna expect that shit. Swing, 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 and then one big heavy swing at the end. And now, it's, we know we can't fucking drop attack him. Yeah, we might as well just... Even that I can see as a teachable moment. You're not screwed when you miss it. Sure, but like... Ow. Rude. It looks so perfectly set up to be a drop attack, is yeah. the thing. So that you'll try it. Huh. Oh, you're saying that this is a this is a tutorializing moment. Mm-hmm. 
And it may not be exactly as I would have done it, but I can get it. Now we can go back up the fucking t Lost it's, so much. Because God isn't at home. Yeah, I found another stillness hood. Those are really pretty. Are they? I don't think I know that. It's, uh, it's a Oh, pail. that's very nice. fast enough. Turned out I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright. We're fine. Taking a lot of damage as I go. Wait, does this go up a little higher, right? Um, is this too high up? Is this too high? Yeah, we go back down now that we've come out of the umbral because it means we can go through the um This it? No, no, further down, all the way down. Oh, okay. Because this, and remember, at the bottom opens onto the area that is next to the boss fight. Okay. I say remember, I have just remembered it myself. Uh huh. Uh, this is an admonishment to myself as well. No, that's how I took it. Okay. <laughs> Handled that poorly. Oh, I'm so sad for you to have missed. That looked like it was going to feel very good to do. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen eventually. Fortunately, there's another shrine outside. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, buddy. I do love that that just hurls them. Hmm. Really? That's a really long leap on that leaping strike. There. You can fuck off. Whoop! Fuck. Oh, the, uh... Out of there's a crossbow you're over there. Oh, that's the one that has a buddy. Yeah. Or, uh, Gradius, I guess. Option. Fuck. Oh no, Greeper as well. Yeah, fortunately he's Umbral only, so I may be able to not die here. You'll take those iframes. Mm hmm. There we go. No problem. I am honestly a little shocked by how effective that spear is in basically every situation. <laughs> has been very nice. It's just like a fast moving projectile. Even if it didn't do as much damage as it does, mm -hmm. it, it's still... That's the way that goes out to the boss fight. Yeah, I'm just looking around. Okay. Uh, that's the boss fight. That is, but that uh, open this gate, isn't. gate isn't. And presumably that other way that goes through the trees isn't either. But we this have way it looks like yet. it might curve back around. No, that's what we thought the last time too, but I don't believe it does. Or I'm Did wrong lead again. lead to a dead end? No, we just got killed going down it. Okay. Interesting. This is a dead end. This is a dead end. Huh. Nope. Fuck off. I don't know why that's the thing that's been happening today. I hadn't seen that before. Uh, the enemy is still attacking you from the umbral once you're put the lantern away? Yeah. Where do you need to be to change out the eye in your umbral lantern? Just at a big uh, vestige? Skyrest. There's a guy who does oh, it for Sky you. Oh, at Skyrest. 
Wait, is that a Cthulhu? Um, they sort of have squid faces. Not everything with a squid face is a Cthulhu. That's true. Oops, fuck. This guy. I, you know me, and my uh, love for cosmic horror, mm. and my my belief that we shouldn't see HP Lovecraft as the default in that space. Mm -hmm. A seething bigger skull, you say? I it, love it when my skull seeds are bigger. It could be a Pisca demon or Davy Jones. There you go, that road. Mm -hmm. Or a mind flare. Got a pointed stick. I mean, she can beat anyone who has fruit. It's true. Really? Yeah, that's just there. Those would be broken. Yeah. Oh, what happens over that way? Back up here first. Okay. Oh, I see. You're gonna try and fight me, huh? Are you new? What the fuck is that? We've seen one of these guys before at the very start of the game. Oh, right. This is the one that has that uh, fire machine gun spell. Yep. That they're about to use right now to kill you. Yep. <laughs> Fortunately, I have a... Oh, he's got a lot of HP. Ow. Oh, it's, um... This fucking name. He was my main in, um... All-Stars Battle Royale. Kratos. No. Fortescue. Ah. No medieval. Ah, right. Monsieur Fortescue. A cowardly knight. <laughs> what a cowardly knight to have a curse. Well, if I had gotten knocked into the umbral, there's a shrine here. Uh huh. Which means there's probably a mimic around. I, can we look at. Can we just stop and enjoy this tree? Yeah, as soon as I check the edges for, uh, traps. For treats and trinkets. Treats, trinkets, and traps, the three T's. Ah. That is a very nice tree. You want to see what it looks like in the umbral? I would love to see what it looks like in the umbral, actually. Yeah. It has grown through. Hmm. Oh, can you just hit the button? Oh, you're oh, moving. Fuck. Yep. That's a, that's an enemy there. Oh. That's why hmm. that's there, is... Because you can do this fight and then get out of the umbral. I do not have a lot of healing. Guess there's no harm in trying, though. There it all looks like stuff you've dealt with. Hold that. Um. Okay. Oh, it is vibrant. Uh huh. Not quite the heartbeat that it was that one time. It's a no. single pulse. All right, so um, I guess what we can do now is heal up and uh, umbral time. Have a minus look. I'll look it up later. So, do you want to try coming into the umbral at the bottom of this hill and walking up so that you're not just like spawning in the middle of an unknown number of enemies? Maybe I want to be able to get through it as quickly as possible. Though. Yeah. Is and now let's umbrify. Oh, he moved. That's uh, another mendacious visage. Yeah. Who again are just regular ass enemies now, I guess. Yeah, probably won't have as much HP as the last one. So that hits. I imagine it would hit a lot better if the thing was open. Yeah, got to lure him into doing that. Oof. 58. Perfect. Yeah, right. 391. That's much better. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. Go. All right. Oh, yeah. Uh, the grubs three. are right next to you. Oh, shit. Thank you. Forgot about those. Watching the one on the left. 
Can you pop those or yeah? Yeah, you gotta can, dodge but... right as they explode. Ooh. Good dodge. Thank you. Oh, I thought that was gonna get him right in the back. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Alright, just a just a little guy. Whoa! You got scared the crap out of me. Uh-huh. That's probably fine. It just did weather damage. Yeah. Beautiful. And done. Nice. Yeah, so that was a lot easier. Yeah, he had way less HP, uh, and we were doing more damage. Yeah, I think it's a combination of both of those things, because... Uh, now... It is such a good spear. It is. Uh, oh, oop. Fine, you the right thing. Alright, so what did we get from this tree? Same sequence. Oh, we can upgrade our uh, cross again. Now that's one we got to call the uh, the, uh, the content warning. Content warning. The uh, self harm content warning. Yeah. But we'll do that when we get to it. Yeah. Uh, oof. it's okay. Yeah. Fuck. So there's nowhere else to go up here. Oh, this is the last. The end of the line. So I guess there. The other way to go is through that base. I forgot that there was another path from down here. Yeah. Should head back to the save point before we try it. And I wish I'd gone and bought more bigger mods. So this doesn't lead out to the boss fight still. That's a whole different thing out there. Yeah. This was to open at some point or else we just come at it from the other side. Uh-huh. I think that'll open. I'm wondering if you go a little bit further forward if there's going to be another... Possible. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I didn't fucking expect. What a jerk. Come on. Come the fuck on. Like lies of pee over here. Just this, uh. Oh. Just this absolute fucking fire dog. Did Oop. not flinch in time. I'm I'm glad you got out of the dog's way. Right. Still not seeing any butterflies or flowers. Oh, that's a good point, Bad Road. I hope the uh Fortescue with the machine gun stays dead. <laughs> so that's, yeah, go is that name right? I'm scared I'm getting it I wrong. I think it's Fortescue. That Daniel right. Fortescue. Yeah. Okay, so this is where we came from. Okay. There's also the option to go this way and this way. Mm -hmm. This way leads to a big knight that I don't want to have a fight with right now. As you can see. Yeah. Oh, oh no, but he he's me. coming for you, so, oh, you know, good. you're going to have this fight whether you like it or not. Nope. You've unfortunately been observed by the thing that dwells just over there. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, <laughs> he's going a... to make it your problem. There is, in fact, a flower bed here. Oh, hi. You can just do that. It was just small, so we missed it. I should buy more moths. First, let's upgrade character. Right. We become harder. Mm hmm. Head back to Skyrest real quick. I heard Creep. This was a while ago. I apologize, or kid. I heard Creeper and was about to say Creeper. Oh, man. Until I realized it was Creeper. <laughs> Like, oh, uh, Creeper. Mm-hmm. It's been a long time building this house. Judgment! There's our bigger skulls. Uh, is this that prick that kicked that other person off the cliff? Stoneman? I don't think so. I think you're thinking of this you guy, Andreas of Ebb. Um, this guy's a dick. Night. Fucking hate him. I have everyone stronger, I know hates. I have way stronger emotions than I probably should about that. 
they really uh. managed to make him feel like a slimy piece of shit. Mm -hmm. Even though he's only had a couple things of dialogue, he feels so slimy. This is Grandpa. As the character I've been calling Grandpa Flowers, yes. Oh. Yeah. So we're gonna be about socketing. Well, um, about Rosamund. And we've got Hooded Antui. Immunity to damage for eight seconds upon Umbral transition just sounds really nice. Mm -hmm. And I think it certainly is more useful than the the thing you're currently using. Mm -hmm. Because like you do not use Soul Flight. Yeah. You do not use not, that that not during a fight, yeah. I mostly just use it for the puzzles. I think it's more useful if you're doing pure melee. Mm -hmm. Alright, so now we've got the self-harm. Uh, oh, right, we're going to speak to uh, Pitra here, and she's going to uh, get some blood out of her hand. Yep. So uh, if that's something that bothers you, uh, you can turn away, and I will tell you in just a moment when it's over. Yep. Several of our sacred texts tell of Saint Latimer, a noble knight, and most devout follower of Our Lady, canonized after his sacrifice himself to help show the hallowed sentinels what was necessary for the greater good. Many have given their lives to sustain the beacons, but Latimer was the first, and remains one of our most venerated figures. But we saw the Umbra of Memory where Latimer was sort of frog marched into the ground. Because mm -hmm. that's the hush saying. Yeah. Our holy work continues. Oh, I need two of them, so never mind. Oh, well. Well, dang. will be done. Oh, let's buy some mods. I think you're the one who sells the mods. In radiance, no, it's Grandpa. Bring redemption. Uh, so I understand you are still doing your cleanup, but I wish to remind you that it's 10 o'clock. Okay. Take a break in just a moment. Chosen yeah, there it is. Like you we can, we can all help them. Yeah. Others watch increase, uh, increase resistance <laughs> Also sells uh, bigger skulls, so they can bank your money. Mm -hmm. Anything that I can. Like you, I serve. Fifty-two hundred, but that's because it's like the relic spear. Um, do you have anything interesting you can buy from the uh, boss shop? Uh, I don't think so. Because I think you've got some more. Um... Only got the three still. Oh. Well, no, I think you've gotten some more scouring. Yeah. Oh yeah. So we can grab more heavy armor. 283 damage mitigation. What the fuck? That's a lot of that. Uh-huh. How much does it weigh compared to the fucking 62? What? <laughs> oh, no, never mind. I have 294. Okay. So that's not... Where that's are you seeing good. the weight? Oh, at yeah, the top there. Yeah, and then there's... 36.8, so they're about the same. But this is much... Like... More of that. Not all the ones from Congregator of Flesh. Sure did. She's also... Medium. Medium. Medium tends to have the highest damage... Or the... No, not that. Heavy has the highest damage mitigation. Uh-huh. Get to Sword. Feels like it would be pretty good offhand. Uh, yeah, you could use it because it's Radiance, but... Or, you can use it because your Radiance is high enough, but you're not using Radiance stuff, really. Yeah, I'm trying to go for pure Umbral, which that hammer will be... Probably. Once we get enough. enough. I should just sell the fucking spear. Get me an extra level. Alright, we're gonna go to the break. Ugh, headphones off. Remember that there is a civil rights movement happening around the country and the wider world. Black Americans, people of color, are fighting for things that should never have to be fought for. Like equal rights, equal treatment under the law, and not be attacked, terrorized, and even murdered by the police. We have listed here some ways that you can help. Down here are the Bail Fund Network, which helps keep protesters out of jail, the Okra Project, and the Black Trans Travel Fund to help black trans and non-binary people with food supplies and travel out of dangerous situations. 
and the Black Hills Legal Fund, the Lakota People's Fund, to take back their land, the Six Grandfathers, which was stolen by white people, arbitrarily renamed to Mount Rushmore, and then had some white slave owners' faces carved into the side of it. Under the second command are more ways you can help. These are all current campaigns, things that uh, you can do right now. We're kept up to date by my sibs, Joy. Remy is here streaming with us. So please let them know if there's anything else that needs to go here. They are September and Remy, all one word in chat. Black lives matter, the lives of people of color matter, indigenous lives and lands matter, Asian Pacific Islander lives matter. These are things we have to keep saying and pushing and fighting for. Tell the people all the way to the top not only understand and acknowledge them, but work to make them real protected truths. We are going to go to the break. Like so. We're going to run some ads. We have no stance on ad blockers. We'll see you back here in a few minutes.
And we're back. We're live, pal. I got day old coffee. We have a carafe that's actually sealed so I can drink coffee the next day. Mm. It's kind of nice. Sealed and metal, so it's like still pretty warm. Nah, usually it only keeps it warm for about 12, 16 hours. Oh. I have to microwave it the next day. Oh, okay. All right, so, uh... It's, I knew it was very, uh, It was... Yeah, words. Mm -hmm. Why aren't you doing that? It caught my stutter. But no, it's just I didn't know how I wanted to phrase the thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, better ask, you need a sealed carafe for that? My dad just drinks it anyway. Oh, I mean, it's generally fine. Yeah. But, um, there's a lot of roaches in this neighborhood. And roaches just love to throw themselves into coffee pots. Ah, you again. Yeah, me again. Fuck you. He's another really fucking yeah. slimy character. The upgrades for the oh. ham. That's not the right one. Do lotions and plates. No. I just use. It says runes locked. Why does it say runes? It's not on all of them. There's runes and then there's a lot. So oh, I know okay. What that is. Oh, all right. Maybe if you upgrade it enough, you'll see how the runes unlock. Possible. Oh, that rises pretty quickly. A wither damage is going to be brutal. Yes. Uh, uh, keep on getting level up. Yeah, I was about to say that's 500 uh, spear bugs or whatever they call it that you're not going to be able to spend on. Uh, Aston, chill, please. What are they called? Echoes? Vigor. Vigor. Thank you. It's Echoes in the Surge? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. That's fine. You don't need to. Oh. Can you play some of that, like, uh, Killer Instinct reboot? I think July did brief. Ah. I apologize. Ah, rude. The last fighting game I was particularly good at was Street Fighter 2. And my hands don't like that. Watch out for the fire dog. Looking around. This is the way up to the tree, I think. Yeah, that's the way up to the tree. And that's... Here we go. Well, that's a whole thing that's happening over there now. Yep. Ooh. Oof. The juice. The juice. <laughs> I knew I could get it. It still managed to put down its fucking bomb. Uh-huh. But that's fine, because it's not even close to the arch, so you're never going to step on it. <laughs> it uh, can cute. see me through the wall. That's so shitty. Oh, I hate that. Hey, does that one have a human face? They all have, like, skulls that look on their faces that look like oh, okay. human. Yeah, I was reading the... There's dots above the eye holes uh -huh. that I was reading as eyes. Oh, I stepped on the thing again. Yeah. We mostly survived. Yeah. That's what's important. There's our little fella with the, with the sword over here. Hey, little fella. You know you're here somewhere. Well, there you are. Uh, All right, come up this down. way. Come up over this way. Uh, yeah. I don't... No, nope, um, this way. Yep. I don't... There we go. Yeah, I think you shouldn't do anything other than this. I, I think you just use that spear and take care of that problem. Yeah, it worked pretty well. Yeah. He, did, only... a he did a monster hunter death, yeah. slowly falling to his knees. You only took a little bit of damage from the massive fire machine. Yeah. So that definitely leads back into the boss fight. Is that the third entrance? To I the think boss it is. Fight? No. No, it's, it's a different not. place still. It's the other side of that gate we were looking at. It is the other side of that gate. Oh, hi, I see you. Hey, buddy. 
Buddy, how are you doing? You. Try this. Bonk! Anything else gonna try and ambush me? No? Hi there. I see you too. You're obvious. I think they might have just been asleep. Oh, uh, there's another, another one. one. Jesus, there's so many fire dogs today. That one was bigger. Had more health. Fire dogs. They're bigger. Now we got I would, a ring of night's fire. Every was, single time I see one of those gold ones now, I'm prepared for it to be a fucking mimic. Right? Okay, so what does this do? Ring of night's fire deals they additional made me jump fire. Because they had like three in a row. Mm-hmm. All right, increase your so that's that could be nice. Edward had to fight a lot of fire dogs too. He was playing um, Warrior Within earlier today. Ah, uh because -huh. he's going through the Prince of Persia series, or at least that set of the Prince of Persia series. The the two thousand X trilogy. Yeah. So I've got the ring I'm wearing increases Inferno and Radiance attributes. This one deals additional fire and wither damage. Huh. I use fire and wither both, though, because my axe does fire damage. So yeah. overall, it seems I like think that might be worthwhile. Yeah. You certainly give it a go. Trial and error. Right. All right. So anyway, that's the Ring of Night's Fire. We have that now. There's nothing else in here, I guess. It was just uh, a lot of dogs. A lot of dogs. Um, there's a part in Dark Souls 2. I know, I keep banging this drum. But uh, there's a part in Dark Souls 2 where you climb down a ladder and you see uh, a big, a big, s see one of the, the pursuers. Yeah. And then uh, you suddenly get jumped by like eight dogs. <laughs> so that's kind of what I'm reminded of. Obviously, this was much lesser in in terror. Less less dogs. Less them trying to eat you. Mimic. Not a mimic. Just unripe berries, which I do not remember what those do. Uh, do you Picking plant them until them. they become ripe berries? I doubt it. But maybe. At the top there. Uh, increased stamina regeneration. Okay. Could do worse than having those on my hotbar. So this way forward, and then there's the other way that we have to go back there. So let's yes. see what's up here. The other way that goes back up the mountain. Yeah. This looks like it may be the way to wind around to that ladder. It would be very nice, because I would like to get to that. Well, here's a way to go up. Did not expect that. You hearing some? You hearing that? Uh huh. What is that? That's a uh, combination of people screaming, moaning. Some of them are being put through a filter, but not all of them. There's some laughing. There's a lot of distressed sound. Uh huh. I had to put my other can on. It's getting louder. It's kind of what it sounds like when you walk into a rec center most days. <laughs> oh, that time they actually vocalized the word no as they screamed. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be something cool in the umbral here. Oh, uh, hi. Yeah. Just, uh, just, just, you know, a couple of constant reminders that everything's built on corpses. Mm-hmm. It's built on the backs of the dead. Yeah, you know. Hey, you get stuff done. Mm -hmm. Oh, can we stop? Look up here. Look at all of the single arms and hands. Yep. Remind you of someone? Yeah. There's a hammer, I guess. A taxidermist's hammer. Or taxidermy. So there might be a massive puppet through here. This is an inferno weapon. It's 25 strength. Uh -huh. Yeah, this looks like a 
boss room again. No, never mind. There's not walls. Lower it's, all raw. There's a lot of fire down here. Oh, this is where we saw all that fire from. Yep. We thought, uh, I thought they were, um... All right, so if this is the way forward, I want to check the other direction first. I thought it was a battlefield, and I guess in a way I was right. Mm -hmm. These are just the screams of the unquiet dead. Yeah, you know. Like you get. Like you get, like surround us all the time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's get away from the screams of the unquiet dead real quick. Yeah, there's a, there's a whole other thing we have to go check out before we do that. Like this guy, he's the quiet dead. Yeah. He's not making any sounds. No, he's not making his noise. Mm -hmm. Got hit with like four umbral spears. It's really, it's a really a dead end. No, that's a ramp. It's not a dead end, because animated vigor skull. 1600 vigor right there, so not bad. There's another, no, that's not a griever. That's the, that's, oh, this yeah. is the backside of okay. this. That just leads back out there. Yeah, that's the thing that you said was a dead end. Yeah. But it is, in fact, a drop down, I guess. Yeah. All right, well, here we go. I guess we're going to lower Kalrath. Yep, let's see. Because I'm not strong enough to bother fighting those bosses yet. I think you could probably take out Professional Gregory if you really wanted to. Yeah, I'd have to give it a few tries. You would have to give it a few tries, but basically any boss you're going to have to give a few tries to. I like us exploring this way as well. Except for that last... Except for the Ruiner, I guess. Yeah, on yeah, the bridge. The Ruiner only took the one try. Biggest problem with fighting bosses as a mage class is even if you have enough mana stones, they still take a while. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's very orange out here, too. I mean, when there's this much fire, yeah, they did just nail a bunch of fucking hands to every wall, huh? Yeah. Uh, feeling something. We're really not even terrible. in. We are not even in the umbral. This is just what's happened here. Oh, what does this look like in the umbral? Oh, mm, basically not the that same. Much different. You know, uh, you can only get so what. <laughs> you can only get so on fire. You can only get so on fire. There can only be so many hands nailed to a door. Oh, here's a, uh, yeah. a memory. I'll look around for a shrine first. Right, because we're going to have to pull ourselves out of the umbral once we get into it to read the yeah. memory. Oh, hi. You're like a regular zombie, but you're on fire. The shambling hordes of the undead right. Slight, on fire. Slightly stronger basic enemy is a good sign. So we can walk across that at least. I guess we're supposed to go umbral here anyway. Watch out, baby. Oh. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it'll knock him over. What happened here? Ah, footsteps receding. Of course. Wooden Dark Crusader Cross. In Light Walk is the, uh, the Light Church is, uh, you know, Benedict we're working with. Yeah, ben the Benedictive Church or whatever. That's what they're saying, which means they just killed everyone in here, burned it, and left. So that's fun. Uh huh. Anything down in that chasm? Uh, instant death, I assume. Yeah, that just looks like instant death. Get out of here. There's a, uh, yeah. I like how they don't catch on fire until. No, they, until they, have they, a... they stand up and the fire appears. Nope, nope. Wow, you missed. <laughs> There we go. It's like dot talk. Dot talk me? Or what skulls? Uh, on the ground there. All over? Oh yeah, those are definitely skulls. All over on the ground? Yeah. Crunchy. It's too bad it doesn't make a crunchy sound when you say That's so many skulls. I, I like skulls, but like... You gotta, you gotta go easy on the skulls. You yeah. don't want to skull yourself out. It would make a... I'm sorry, I sort of spoke over you because I was concerned about the skulls, but they would make a good crispy crunch. Oops. Of course I get fire salts in here. Oh, 
Hmm. Hey, look, we finally found the next one. Oh, that is the next vestige, huh? In uh -huh. front of this uh, flesh altar, I say as though most of the umbral isn't a flesh altar. Mm hmm. Let's see if it's still a flesh altar. Who's been nailing hands to a door? Martin Luther's evil twin. Oh, hey, it's even better outside of the umbral. Oh, because they've absolutely they crucified, crucified this airplane. Dang. I think this game might be political. Yeah. I... 599 to 66. 48. I don't think I have enough skull for that. All right. Probably do a little little grinding in this space. Mm -hmm. Nothing else, and we can just keep fighting the uh, the shadows. Hey, look, platforming. I won. You got a map of Lower Calrath. Yeah, I wish the maps were at all useful. So, I understand what you're saying, and I don't disagree with you, but they're so fucking pretty is the thing. They are. Like they're they have clues there, but the camera, the way the camera is, it's hard for me to even Yeah. Like they're trying to show you points of interest. This in... is where we are. So up ahead it leads to this another one of these big trees. Uh-huh. I'm trying to remember if Lower Cowarth is the place where we need to start looking around for the thing that's going to let us have the umbral on I'm going to look for that while you uh you Here's know while I look, look around. around this fucking yeah. horror show. E yep. <laughs> There's a reason I'm going umbral. Fucking horror show. There's a reason I'm going full umbral. And it's not it's not just because it's super cool. Yeah. It's also because the other two are specifically not cool. I oops. Well, I found another boss. Oh, the Infernal Enchantress. She is very much surrounded by fire. Oh, oh that's cool. Those are going to explode, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoops, not what I meant to do. Can you get in there? Yes, you can get in there. So, again, you are... You threw five of those spears. Yeah. Basically, completely resistance-free. Yeah. And took out about a third of her health. Yeah, you gotta figure out the distance is the thing. Mm -hmm. That's the main thing with this, is figuring out Look where up. you're safe. And see your dreams in the distance. Whoa! I thought I wouldn't see that coming. Yeah, like, she picked the wrong uh, part-time sorcerer to fuck around with, I guess. Mm-hmm. I win. Yeah, Sinner has been judged. Damn. You got some flesh from the inter inf Infernal Enchantress. Flesh, you said. Yeah, I think it's another um, uh, thing that you can hand to the, the, the Tonkle Flowers. Oh, okay. Uh, what was it called? Uh, flesh of uh, flesh of her, flesh of the infernal enchantress. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're gonna be able to get her ship in. I think so. That's that's what that kind of thing has meant before. Mm -hmm. But I could be wrong. It could be a different thing. Posing. What was his name? The big pot. Alexander. Yeah. Oh, Alexander. Iron Fist Alexander. Well. If you haven't played Elden Ring. I really like Iron Fist Alexander. Me too. He did have a very sad ending. Oh, I mean, it's a FromSoft game. Yeah. They're they're not com. The, I mean, and there are certain ways in which they are comedies, but they're definitely comedies. <laughs> They're tragic comedies. Tragic comedies. It's a horror D. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got a magma ring, which I assume just increases fire resistance. Yep. I was oh. fucking looking up something. I'm so sorry. The um, items that we need. Thank to you. Yes. Uh, 
boards. Oh, well, you know what? You know what? We can actually level up right now, so let's hop back to the vestige and do that. Okay. I could set one right here, but it seems like a waste. Well, I mean, there's still more ways to go, right? Yeah. This will keep you from having to walk through, you know. It's not much of a walk, is the thing, though. If you feel comfortable with it, you feel comfortable with it. Yeah. If it becomes an annoying, then I will absolutely do it right now. All good. Upgrade. There, works that time. We best. Six more levels and we can equip our big hammer. Can you buy more ethers? I think so? Mm -hmm. I think you can buy the small ones. The small ones, if I recall one. Uh, no, not yet. The area we are looking for is Revelation Depth. All right. I hear that name mentioned a lot. All right, Mimic. Nope, Heavenly Vial. I'm going to say like a that. Holy hand grenade. I'm going to say that every time I pick one of those up. Uh -huh. And we can just, uh, when I'm right, we can just put up a, a, a collage of me calling the Mimics. Uh-huh be great compilation probably yeah i mean collage is correct too. collage is also correct in that it is a bunch of disparate uh elements being brought forward to create an artistic whole yep uh, artistic whole what a coincidence nickname college etc yeah all right, well, we can't get across that. That's that's down on both sides. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there used to be a... Oh, that's a way right there. What? Oh, yeah, right over here. That's uh -huh. where I was checking before. There's a guy at the top of it, which is why I went back down. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the... Um, I, I missed it because I was looking at the wiki. Oh. Hey, hey, buddy. Buddy, you ever... You ever fucked with a spear? I'll fuck you with a spear. You are trying to get me banned on Twitch.tv. <laughs> and I need you to stop. He dropped a mangler axe. God damn it. He was a very large mangler. Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. Right, okay, the, fa the manglers that are on oh, fire are another... the strong ones. Yeah. There we go. Fortunately, there's a massive explosion when you use the spear. Yeah. And it just sort of took care of the the little ones for you. Yeah. I like gathering dombles into us uh, into a location mm -hmm. and then making an explosion in that same location. That was not open from the side. Interesting. This area is gonna be another like with as um Pilgrim's perch. With as ramp like as this lane is i might suggest to look out for falling rocks oh yeah definitely hey look umbral altar hey now we have one of those if we find ourselves needing it like if we get crushed by a falling rock i'm filling my water with water um, oh, you can get that level. Oh, there's so many uh, fuckers. Suddenly, I actually have no idea where they came from. I assume that they were... I assume that they didn't start standing up till I passed them. Uh -huh. But they were probably laying in this area. Yeah, hidden in the dark. Shining in the darkness. What is... That's a video game, I think. Yeah, that's the first game in the Shining series on the Genesis. Huh. All looks like it's going to collapse on. Huh? What is the umbral set? All right. Well, I guess that's what we're doing. Hi. Nice. Tried to fucking sneak up on me. I don't stand for that. That shit. was so good. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> I'm right. very impressed. Thank you. All right.
right, let's umbrify. It's umbral time. Oh, hi. Uh huh. Get out of here. These guys trying to play like they know me. I see you jockeying me, etc. Oops. Very um on fire here. Yeah. So this is the back end of the where the vestige is, right? That's right underneath you. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah. Oh, we, I was going to read the. Oh, we can push the yeah. ladder down right here, so that yeah. doesn't matter. So I it was, was absolutely the right call to not uh, make the, the 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 small one. Uh huh. Ever watched Small One? Uh, doesn't sound familiar. It's a Don Bluth movie about Jesus. It doesn't sound familiar. Yeah. It's not really about Jesus. It's about this kid, and he's sent into town to like trade his donkey for money because. There's a Jack and the Beanstalk style. Uh, no, not really. Like his family is starving. It's like here's this mule. We have to trade it for something so we can eat. And he's just like, I could sell it to a tanners and they would, you know, do that. I don't want to do that because I love this donkey. Mm -hmm. And it's just like continually trying to find a way to give this donkey to a person who's not going to be bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then, like, there's this guy who comes along and it's like, hey, my pregnant wife needs a ride into town, to the next town. Um, we can buy your donkey off of you, but all we have is, like, just this. He's like, oh, yeah, sure. And then that guy's Joseph. Ah. This guy trying to get to me. Yeah, sort of stuck in the air. I'm gonna, I'm gonna puke some eyeballs at him. Okay. Blech. Cost less mana. The fuck? The fuck was that? Uh, from down there somewhere. Uh, I don't think you can jump that. No, definitely not. Certainly not the second one. Uh huh. Why we gotta do this? Oh right, umbral. Yeah. You know the sort of main idea of the whole game is based around the kind of legacy of Kane Soul Reaver mm -hmm. maneuvering between the two. I'll go over here. So there's less fire in the well. Less, yeah, not none. Uh, it's just less fire up here. Uh, if because you the stuff at the bottom is still burning. Get the opportunity. I wanted to read the description on the ah, uh, yes. on the vestige because we unlocked a new big vestige. All right, that'll be back. Oh hi, I forgot you were there. That's how important you were in my story. I thought you were Dale. No, I'm Hill. Oh. Oh, I just got it. <laughs> over Hill, over Dale. Huh. Huh. Mm hmm. Huh. Odd. Yeah. But where to. Boomhauer and Bill fit into that? That's a great question. I thought it would be Jesus on Palm Sunday. No. And then he also made Dragon's Lair, because the kids love tits. The kids do love tits. That's anecdotal, right? Maybe? I think so. That, yes. that quote of Don Bluth's that... Kids love tits? Yeah. Probably, but it's also something I can absolutely believe he would have said. Hmm. Really, this one has just a tiny bit too much HP. What's a quiescent? Or quiescent? Mm -hmm. I don't... Mm. Streaming, uh, I do not remember what we fed what Quason was, yes. Oh, we can just walk through. Yeah, that's fine. We can just walk through that gate. Yeah. 
Hello. Uh huh. All right. What do we do to him? Uh. Can we kick from behind? Is chair in the way? Mm. We can certainly try. But I think it's this that we do. Yeah, and that does. Oh, and then you kick. Whoops, and then I missed the critical. But that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> and then you, he burned to death. Yeah, you set him on fire a little bit. All right. So that was just a way to avoid getting ambushed by becoming the ambusher. You thought you were the ambusher, but truly you were the ambushee. Nope, right? Your ambushido is stronger. I really feel like there's going to be a fucking rolling ball that's going to come down this way right now. Over hill, over dale. I don't actually know the song that well. I don't know what reference... I don't know what song you are referencing. Over hill, over dale. Okay. Um, something, something, I don't know. I'm, I am familiar with the concept that hills and dales are connected to each other, but I'm not sure how. Uh, but I also was picking up that um, you were talking about Hank Hill and Dale Ribble. Yeah. Oh, there's a... Ow! That was a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh oh. Whoops. Oh, I didn't fall very far. It's fine. Yep. I have the you're, low ground. You're doing this completely okay. Oh. Got that shit out. Yeah, I think you're just, like, taking a lot less damage from it. From the, the magic, yeah. Yeah, from Because I'm magic. wearing better magic armor. And I have more HP, of course. And you're standing on one foot. I won! <laughs> Very nice. Crown of Nails and a proselyte suit. I guess that guy was a proselyte. A strength long sword. How about that thorny crown? Crown of Nails. Uh, the it's song not Bad very Road. good. The song Bad Road is talking about is the Calsons go rolling along, and I was misspelling Calson as Leeson. Probably too esoteric. Is that the. I. I don't know the lyrics, but is that the one that tune is da 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 Yeah. Over hill, over dale, I guess we'll deliver mail. That's all I got. That's much better than the military anthem I'm familiar with that tune as. Da 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 marching is more hands up. Oh, Look, like they fucking nailed them to the wall. Yeah. I don't like it. Someone was probably using those. But as an amulet? Hey, yo! Yeah, as an amulet. Uh, there was a... Yeah. yeah. Check ahead, though. That's fair. You don't have to drop, um... Interesting. No, I am gonna say it. You don't have to drop your seed in every rose petal that comes along. Alright, now I think I'm gonna use it as, uh... Oh! Rude. Getting me off rhythm. That is the one my university pep band used that tune. Or use as. Mm -hmm. Alright, so let's do the thing. Bestie scenes can only be planted on humble flower beds. On there. Oh, it's a much wider flower bed than it appears. Yeah. It tends to be. Yet more visible once you're in the umbral. Presumably so that they're easier to spot when mm -hmm. you're 
Let's go die. Uh, so while you have access to this screen, could you hit warp to vestige? Uh-huh. Uh, so we can go to lower Calrath Depot, the vestige of Sebastian. A well-bred lordling. Speaking of dropping your seeds and flowers, Sebastian lived a life of luxury, his marital interests being largely for appearances, and certainly Marshall never... Interests. A well-bred lordling, Sebastian Sorry. lived a life... No, you're correct to have uh, corrected me. Thank you for doing so. A well-bred lordling, Sebastian lived a life... Oh, just got breathing on the brain. His martial <laughs> interests being largely for appearances and certainly never being truly tested until an ill-advised expedition ended with him in Mornstead, alone and a lamp bearer, his companions dead. But even more so than his capabilities as a warrior, Sebastian found his conscience tested, exposed as he was by Umbral to a scale of suffering he had never imagined in all his years of privilege, and as a lamp bearer, he fought to prevent further suffering where he could. Good on you, Sebastian. Yeah. I think this game the game might be political, is the thing. So on 67, I would need 3,300 next level up. Do you have to refight that person you fought? Yeah. But that's fine. Yeah. Who was that person we were fighting? That was a uh, good friend, Raw Mangler. Uh -huh. They are raw, aren't they? They don't have skin. Mm -hmm. I've just noticed. <laughs> and they carry bird resistance ball. Oh no. Hmm. So, you know, I'm glad that they have the tools they need to help themselves feel better. Uh, unfortunately, they did meet with... Nope. No, I think that was the ragdoll being kicked oh, yeah. down the stairs. Huh. Usually the ragdolls have quit by then. Watch out above you. At the top of that uh, ramp. There you are. Knew there was one around here. Oh, I thought that was a. I thought they were going to push that barrel down. Oh. Poisoning knife. Or poison. Hmm. I missed my first attack. Hey! Hey! Hey, Rude. Jerk. Rude. Okay. That was a lot of that. You're very on fire. Yeah. I know. Now I'm less on fire. I love continuously the video game thing of you have been caught by a fire tick, but you can use your dodge roll to put it out faster. Mm -hmm. That's not how stop, drop, and roll works, but I like that it's there anyway. It's trying. It's cute. Mm -hmm. Shut up here. Oh, oh there's a Greeper. You do without him. Well, he does appear to lead ever forward, so we should check that grip. Uh-huh. Can you walk through there? Nah. Oh, okay. So it, it leads no more forward. It's not. Well, we check out the bridge anyway. Yeah. Huh. It's just like that. There's a rope here. Where gone. are you? Oh, there you are. Yeah, let's just not fuck with that, I guess. Yeah, I ain't dealing with that motherfucker. Yawn. Oh, no. Oh, no, you so can't you just can walk over because that's one of the, um... Yeah. Platforming. Yeah. Like Dark Devotion platform without a jump button. Except I do have a jump button. Just can't use it here. Mm -hmm. Play Dark Devotion again. Game rocks. That's the, um, like, 2D across what? one. Yes. Oh, they're just going to keep shooting at me, huh? 
and I have to answer in kind. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with that is that your spear is a lot better than whatever the fuck it is they're doing. Uh huh. They're just firing little wither. Oh, hey. Oh, good. Got the gargoyle friends down here. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong button. Fuck. I, I might not. No, no, I got this. It's fine. Ah, they can fly. A little bit. There's one directly behind me. You know what? This is fine. We'll know it's here next time. Yeah. No, you've got this. It's fine. You, uh... Well, that's a problem that solves itself. Yep. Bye bye. Damn, I took so much damage. Yeah, but you know, uh, there's an umbral exit right behind you. Oh, good. Let's do that. Then. Oops. Slorp. <clears throat> Excellent. It's time for everybody's favorite oh. game show. Break the thing. Yes. Yeah. And it is a Souls-like game because you can roll through them to break them. Yep. I know that we tested that before. Yeah. Uh, but it's always glad to con uh, it's always good to confirm your results. Mm -hmm. Anything to heal with? I do. I always try to use consumables first because they heal so much slower and aren't as good in an emergency. Uh-huh. Seems counterintuitive until you realize that. Uh, hands. No. So many hands. Hello? Yes, I am hands. Mm -hmm. What was that? An accent. From where? Oh. Acting! Acting. You have a lot of health. Oh look, she's oh, she's it's, that boss. Yeah, it's the uh way less Eternal Enchantress. Oh fuck. Oof. Got my jumping attack off, please. There we go. I might yeah, put some space. I was definitely worried she might explode. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Another bridge. Infernal Enchantress skirt. Oh, did I get the skirt? Yes, you got the skirt. Oh, we have to, see we have to try it on. We simply must. It's uh, ring mail. Oh, it is ring mail. Sometimes it's hard to see the details when you're in an area like this that's really... Uh, it is, and also I think your um, top is has like long pieces at the side that are actually covering a lot of the... Yeah. Plus the, uh, the, uh, chain mail groin piece. Chain mail groin piece. Chain mail groin piece would be a great name for, I don't know what. I don't know who would be great with that name. Um. Oh, the convert. I am chain mail groin piece. Uh, I was thinking some type of metal band. Mm hmm. I was wondering if there was a specific sub-genre of metal that would make that funnier, but... These motherfuckers are everywhere now. But yeah, they really, uh... Get out of here. ...are in your whole shit. You can't hit me. I'm not even on the same plane as you. We are not Having on a good the time. same level. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this little guy down here. Try plunging attack. Ah, uh, that would definitely kill me. Uh-huh. We've already... That's the first bridge we came in through. Uh -huh. Right? Uh, ye, no, I don't think so, because that's a, the great big castle that we've been going towards. Oh, okay, you're right. Uh, so that's our eventual goal. We just need to go across this area, and then go back down to ground level. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm not saying that we should quit at this juncture, but it is 11 o'clock. 
I can't, can't log on. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I need to show you the the thing hanging in the air. Mm -hmm. Those things hanging in the air. Yeah. Those corpses with the smoke coming out of their eyes. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Yeah, if you turn to the right, there's a bigger one uh, that's bent in half. I can't reach this, which means I have to drop down. So I actually think you can reach it if you are um, on the... No, I, was, I already tried. Like no, I... if you're standing over there on the left. Because that's, oh, that's the part even of... further away. Oh. Can't, can't reach it. I have to go down. Okay. What is that? Oh, it's a creeper. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm. Well, good note to go out on. Long way to fall. Mm -hmm. This game really likes turning bosses into normal enemies. It does, but it does a decent job at it. Uh, uh, they have way less HP. Mm -hmm. I think I have thoughts about that, but I'm going to say that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit with them see if they make sense later. Okay. Thank you all so much for coming. Let's do the Patreon shout out. Yes, let's. Uh. Yes, let's go to the outro screen. Now we. Now I have this mouse, which I can unplug. Not actually the mouse that I need to be using. No. All right. So if you want to support us uh, monetarily, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can, of course, subscribe or give bits here. There's some uh, cool emotes associated with that, and you get a call out if you. Uh, do it publicly when you resubscribe and regular subscribe. And you can also, of course, go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash squirrelily. That's the wrong tab. And then you'll get access to some exclusive videos and you get a call out uh, like this. Once again, you can specify you don't want the call out. So thank you very much to our patrons, Andy Monium, The Melodic Freak System, DeWill, Ava Fox, Sage, and Melissa Case. Y'all rock. Now, we've got a schedule. I push that button and that brings up that link, in theory. It should do it, but there, it ah, there it is. You can find little. that. A little laggy sometimes. Just a little bit. You can find that schedule at schedule.truck.community. Yeah. So tomorrow, we're looking at Alice playing Final Fantasy X. Friday, we got July playing Super Mario RPG with September. Uh, Saturday morning, Wandering Beekeeper will be playing Minecraft on the channel Wandering Beekeeper. Uh, Willem may stream throughout the day at Willemist23. And then in the evening we've got either Freya Dragon playing Alien Isolation or Demon Dog playing Half-Life over at the Xenon Fiber channel. Sunday, a Wandering Beekeeper playing Roots of Pacha. Monday we got Remy playing El Paso Elsewhere. And Tuesday we got a Willow all tries to always go for the Tuesday stream. So Willow Miss 23 still be playing some stuff that day. And then Sole will be starting on something new. And Wednesday over at the channel uh, Bad Road. Bad Road will be playing Prince of Persia Warrior within. And then back here we'll be back with more Lords of the Fallen. We'll see lots more um, scenery. And mangled corpses. Yeah. <laughs> I, you're handling the vast majority of the gameplay, so I don't um, connect with it very much on that level. But I, I'm loving the aesthetic. I'm loving the the lore. Mm -hmm. All right, you can head over to uh, YouTube.truck.community or YouTube.com/slash/AdSquirrelLily. Lots of good stuff there. Riley has got it all into playlists. If you want to watch a game from start to finish, or from start to where someone gets to, they decide not to finish it, uh, that's an option. If you want to fill just a lot of your time with one thing, may I suggest watching us play Monster Hunter Rise? Because we did that every week for a calendar year. Mm -hmm. There's like 50 videos in that playlist. It's wild. Mm -hmm. All right, I guess... Uh... 
That's the end of that. Thank you all for coming. My name's Sue. I hate video games. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Love you.